up you guys this is Brittany, and today i'm coming to you with a quick q and a video so i went on my community page and i think i also posted on my instagram story to see if anyone had any questions they wanted to do for a q and a so i had a couple of questions so let's get started okay the first question is do you still have the passion to do videos and create content what are some things that keep you motivated um and that was from heather's world so heather's world is a youtuber you should go check her out she lives in my area um she's progressed she's married with two kids and she has a career she's really really cool so um do i still have the passion to do videos i do at sometimes at some points i'll be like oh my gosh i gotta do these videos and i write them all down and when i have the time to do it i'm like dang and then I go on live and I'm able to interact with anyone that comes up. You know what I'm saying? I don't announce my lives. I just go live, you know. And it's fun because the people who watch me a lot, especially my lives, they probably have notifications. So when I get on, they get on. And we just and we just communicate for like an hour to two hours. And me knowing that i do have the support for people who won't who have notifications to know when i go live like they actually want to come and see me it does make me want to create more content as i get older and i get into what my new career you know what i'm saying it's kind of changing i can't i can't do the explicit vlogs where you know like i would just curse out everyone from the rooter to the tutor um or you know but mostly my content is like affordable things so it's not that bad a lot of people like my haul videos which i try to back away from at times because i have a shopping addiction but it's not that bad it's it's not that bad to just keep it going i just wish i could get a little bit more drive towards my channel because i've been doing this for a very long time what keeps me motivated to do youtube or just in life in life what keeps me motivated is that in the end everything's gonna work out like a lot of things have changed like i said i've changed my career um so i'm motivated to make the change to have a better living you know what i'm saying a better living for me and my family because me getting to be teaching i'm not saying i'm doing that forever but it's something new um the schedule uh keeps me motivated um me like passing the test and i didn't think i would pass it kept me motivated just like waking up every day and knowing like you know you have a purpose in life i have a purpose sometimes i don't know what it is but i know that i have a purpose and that's what keeps me motivated like i have a purpose i may not know what it is today or maybe not tomorrow but my purpose is to keep going until i find out what the true purpose is um how do you stay so fly sis and that's from better late than broke what's up girl i don't know um i have a problem i feel like i'm being i told y'all this before i feel like i'm beyonce and um the paparazzi's following me everywhere i go now currently this this is probably the second time i put on makeup in the past month but um when i go i'm like i'm beyonce like I gotta have lashes my makeup gotta be done and it's not like it's over like i'm not doing eyeshadow and contour and all that but when i step through you gonna see oh that's that's britney you know what i'm saying like oh britney do this all the time every job i go to i'm dressed to the nines because it's just me like i'm beyonce either i'm beyonce or either i'm homeless and that's just my look so i just gotta stay fly because i'm beyonce Beyonce. i used to say i was gonna name my daughter Beyonce, but that's another story uh, Miss Dixon 18, what are some creative things for an anniversary since we're in quarantine? Girl, you better cook their favorite meal. Put them cheering to sleep. <laughs> cook their favorite meal, girl. Put some music on. Put YouTube on the TV, girl. Have some nice little slow songs. Candle lit dinner, girl, in your bedroom with your TV stands. It's fine like girl food a man and food they fine and a sexy little fit girl put on a bathing suit girl <laughs> so you do not have to go buy something or order something anything you got girl or just be naked with a bow trust me it'll work <laughs> 
um question from amanda is since doing a career change do you feel better less stressed do you see yourself retiring as a teacher do i see myself as less stressed no i don't um a little less stressed as far as i'm not on call all the time like i get to clock out and leave um this being my like november the 11th was the first day i've ever been in the classroom so me getting like a really 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 interesting class they've had five teachers this is first grade um we have a lot of behaviors it was very stressful to me and i would just have to calm myself down but i feel as though when school starts because i don't see school starting back this year when school starts back in the fall i think i'll be better i'll feel better you know because i'll start off the school year with kids you know i will be that miss gage the teacher and we'll have an understanding from the beginning because i don't think they got an understanding because they've had so many teachers it was just really really tough it was very tough on me it was very tough on me it was so frustrating i'm not gonna say it's stressful but it was very frustrating like every day i would just get up in the morning and be like it's gonna be a better day it's gonna be there and i would get to the classroom and be like okay you guys what kind of day did we have yesterday? It was horrible. What kind of day we're going to have? It's going to be good. It's going to be good. By the end of the day, it was horrible. But at least we started off in the first hour to hour and a half and we tried, you know. So I just feel that it'll be a better trying experience if we start off the year with me and not in November as the fifth teacher that they've had. Um, do I see myself retiring as a teacher? No. Um, I don't see myself retiring as a teacher. I see myself moving up. I see myself getting my master's degree and getting out of the classroom. Um, if I'm in a job, I rather I don't want to be in the same job. I want to move up. Like it's like I don't <laughs> like I just have too many goals where it's like I say I don't want to be a supervisor ever again. But there's other plenty of jobs working within the school where you don't have to be a teacher. You can be a reading coach. You can be a whole bunch of other stuff at the school where you're not sitting in the classroom with 20 to 25 kids a day you know working on subtraction and things so i don't see myself retiring as a teacher but it could be within the district or it could be with the, another job because i might not even stay the district that i'm in like it's so many opportunities as a teacher like so many and then once you become certified it's like your prize position like everybody gonna want you like you're a hot commodity in these streets everybody wants you so i feel it's a lot of opportunities especially when you're a certified teacher in texas <laughs> hey <laughs> mm. um what is what is your job asking you to do for your students for the quarantine i am uploading three lessons a week um to our district website for kids, I'm doing social studies. So I'm uploading things I find on YouTube so they don't have to, their parents don't have to print it out or anything like that. But I upload it and the person over social studies picks what she wants and then she uses it. So if none of my stuff gets picked, I don't care. Um, I'm also calling the students every week. We're constantly having meetings on Zoom, teacher meetings, um, faculty meetings, other kind of meetings. Um, I'm also, like I said, I'm calling parents to call the students and I'm also setting up Zoom, Zoom meetings for me and my kids. Um, I've had two last week. One, on Monday, I had one kid show up and on, on Thursday, I had three kids showed up. So we were able to do like a mini lesson, like we went over colors and shapes. So that was good because I had bought some cards and we did that. And I thought it was really exciting because I was excited. <laughs> I was so excited. I was like, oh my gosh, y'all are here. Like, <laughs> it was funny because I was very excited. Um, Chanel Shakur asks, do you still want children? Of course I do. Um, Of course I do. I mean, I'm still 29. Bet my eyes because <laughs> that's a lot. But of course I want children. I mean, when God gives me that, which he possibly will soon then we will wait and see but yeah i saw that question and i didn't even want to do this question and answer video because if you truly watch my channel if you watch my lives you know the struggles that i've had as far as um having children but some people are new to my channel and don't know the experiences and i don't i don't tell them in my videos um i don't tell them about you know things that i've 
going through, but I do tell them on my lives because usually on my lives, it's people that actually watch me who care to know about stuff like that instead of me just giving my business out to the world. You know what I'm saying? Of course, there's people on my lives watching who don't give a damn and who just watching me just for shits and giggles. But of course, I want kids. I'll just say it like that. Um, what have you been doing during this quarantine time? I have been doing a lot of de-stressful things. I've enjoyed myself sitting home. I've enjoyed myself trying. I've been cooking. I've been doing things. I don't, baby, my house is clean from top to the bottom, honey. Honey, I've been walking the block, honey. I mean, I, I did a mile point three on Friday. No, I didn't do it Friday, Thursday. Um, I've been walking. I've just been chilling. Of course, I'm addicted to like Kim Kardashian's game. And if you know any cheat codes, you know, let me know. Um, let me know. Um, I've been doing a lot of stuff online. I've been doing DIY stuff. Like, I did this today. Like, I got two of these. Like, this is from Dollar Tree. This is a dollar vase. This is four bags of those clear little thingies. And this is three, three white fake roses. So this was $8 all together. A nice, cute bouquet. I gotta fix it back. There we go. Um, And this is for like my dress in my bedroom. I've been doing some DIY. I've been doing some I've been doing some decorating. I've been doing some ordering. Um, I just trying to fix up every room. It's not like I'm trying to fix up one room at a time. Like I'm just fixing up all type of shit. Like today I bought like um shower curtain. I ordered from Amazon. Um, it's just a lot of online shopping. But it's very a lot of people are stressed at this time. I'm not. Like this time is giving me time to breathe, and it's like very enjoyable like i know a lot of people is a lot of things are going on in our world right now but i'm very calm cool and collective which is crazy because i usually am not but it's giving me time to think like i don't go on facebook i do not go on facebook if i go on facebook i go to the um news stations that's in my area um i just stay on instagram i look on youtube i watch videos um I, I'm just chilling. I'm cooking. I'm cleaning. Like, it's just a de stressful time. And that's when I'm using this time to just clear my mind. Of course, I'm working from nine to two, Monday through Friday. Um, but it's nothing hard. Like, this is a very easy time for me. And I'm just taking it day by day and doing what I could do. So, right now, it's just very calming and relaxing. It really is. So, I just wanted to give y'all a little Q&A video. If y'all have any ideas of any videos y'all want me to do, leave them down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.